Think safety first. Hi, this is Rick Martins with Martinsman Irrigation. We're going to deal with some highway safety here and visibility. The learning objectives of this segment are to identify the need for good lighting and visibility, identify the needs on a mental checklist, identify the needs for seat belt. Minnesota law requires a minimum amount of lighting on our agricultural equipment. We have amber or red flashing lights, red reflectors on the back of our equipment, red tail lights visible to the rear, a flashing amber light that identifies the far left of the vehicle, and of course the SMV lights and our white lights when we're driving down the road. I'd want you to also to consider using a rotating beacon or extra flashing lights. It's better to be seen than to be investigated. Driving down the highway becomes routine for many people. As you're driving up and down the highway, you're really not paying that much attention to what you're doing because everybody's traveling at the same speed. If you're traveling at 45 mile an hour and you have a vehicle coming up behind you at 55 mile an hour, the 400 feet closure time or a little over a telephone pole length is 27 seconds. This gives you plenty of time to make any adjustments that you need to do. However, if you're traveling at 15 mile an hour and the car coming up behind you is traveling at 55 mile an hour, that same closure time is less than seven seconds. Seven seconds is an important number because that's how long it takes the normal person driving down the road to realize that there's something ahead of them and they need to take evasive action. You don't want to have a situation where the car comes up and has to swing into the other lane so they don't rear end you and they don't check oncoming traffic. You're going to have an accident. So be visible out there. Again, it's better to be seen than to be investigated. Let's deal with weight. Our equipment is getting larger and more efficient. And we have a, we have a need to make sure that our equipment and our training keeps pace with these larger weights. Go through a mental checklist every time you step into your vehicle of transporting manure or hose carts or whatever you're doing up and down the road. Are you properly trained and experienced to operate that vehicle? Do you need a license to operate it? If you're towing anything with weight, is the towing vehicle adequate for what you're towing? Does it have the stopping capacity? What kind of speeds are you going to be traveling? And are the brakes working? If you're pulling that trailer, make sure that the brakes are working. That that trailer is in good condition without any defects and all the lights are working. If it has a steerable axle, make sure it's working properly so it doesn't throw you about when you're trying to make corners. And always check the pins and couplings for good working order and replace them regularly. Sometimes there may be stress on the pins and couplings that you don't see and you could have a mechanical failure. And make sure that you're always using the safety chains if supplied. You also want to check and maintain awareness of what type of material that you're transporting. Whether it's liquid or solid, you deal with it in two different ways. You want to make sure that the load is secure and you want to keep an eye on driving conditions. Weight has power. If you come into a corner too fast or uh, someone gets in your way, you may have to make evasive action. That liquid makes a big slosh and all of a sudden you're in an accident, both environmentally and medically. Road conditions can change without notice. This pickup was driving down the road and hit a patch of oil that it came to the surface on the road. It was unaware, caught a guard wheel, flipped over, and down into the ditch. Seat belt saves lives. Use them. In the photo before, the seat belt saved the lives of the occupants. You can't be protected by the cab if you're thrown from the vehicle. So remember, good lighting for visibility, 
Check over the equipment for defects and always use your seatbelt as required.